Of course, the second before I start doing the intro, it starts raining. Ah, what a lovely, lovely noise. Well, welcome back to our Minecraft adventure without zombie coming in to annoy me. Let's just take care of it. Meanwhile, I will tell you the plans for the day. Considering I now have a steady stream of iron coming in, thanks to the farm here, I should not be worrying too much about making tools, whereas before it was somewhat annoying. Oh yes, this is <laughs> this is all the carrots the farmer is throwing in above the the other villagers head as I as I said at the end of the last episode. Well, there is not really much I can do about it. Look at oh, look at all the carrots being wasted. Uh the problem is that I'm not quite sure if there is a way for me to avoid that happening because if I block this area I which is where the carrot seems to go by more often than not. It I, it I will probably be locking the line of sight of the zombie with the villagers, thus causing them to stop panicking, thus causing the, the farm to not produce any iron anymore. Like, if I put in a, another trapdoor, I would be blocking the zombie's line of sight, so... Sadly, I'm afraid there is not really much I can do, aside from just coming oops wrong one come in here and just throw the carrots to them myself I might as well just do that every now and then if we we do, cannot find a better way Ooh. I should have not jumped in here I should have not jumped in here okay <laughs> that was dumb <laughs> don't follow my lead I'm a moron let's talk about the plan for the day so the plan for the day is mostly I need to get going on making that villager trading hall so I can actually proceed with the with our plans. But also now that I have a steady income of iron, I think I will do some strip mining down at the lower levels and see if I can find some diamonds. I think I would be do that, finish clean up the room down here. And then we shall proceed with preparing the trading hall for our villager over here. So, see you in quite a bit, I think. This is gonna be a lot of work. I stripped mine for about 30 minutes and... I mean... I would have liked to find more of this and a bit more gold. But this is a we are starting to make a good stock like stockpile of deep slate, so I'm sure it will come in handy. Plenty of redstone, which is as nice. Again, I would love to find a bit more gold, but what uh, what I have I think should be enough for me to build my villager sorting system and the trading hall. So I think I will get to that next. And guess what just lost the first half of the trading hall being built? Why do you keep doing this to me?
an absolute nightmare. <sighs> but somehow I made it work. Now to, be, to keep feeling this place, that's gonna be a grind and a half, but a very, very useful a grind and a half. For you it's only been a single change of scene. For me it's been four days. So let's see what has changed. First of all, I <laughs> corrected the pickup system here. You know, actually stop being a dumb dumb and looked up how to do it properly. I definitely changed the layout of my farms here. I have officially filled completely my current trading hall. Over here I made a bit of an automatic farm of for potato and carrots, thanks to more villagers. It's not doing anything now because I emptied it rather recently, but yeah, these guys are just taking care of that on their own. I didn't bother with a uh, time lapse of me building this because it's really not that interesting. But I will be linking in the description the video I use to help me build this. Also, I have cats now! And parrots! So yeah, I have some friends, made a little perch for the parrots. The guests are just hanging out here because of course they are. Actually, they are not the only ones. I have some cats chilling on the bed as well, they are very cute. So many cats, it makes me happy. And obviously, I am very much fully kitted out now with, you know, proper enchantment and all that. So, at this point, next step, I kind of want to automate melon pumpkin farm and sugar cane farm as well because let me tell you like picking this up by hand it gets real tiring real fast so if i can automate i do i want to i will and but in order to do that i need to go to the nether because i need to make observer and observer need quartz so nether it is and in any case a trip to the nether was going to be necessary because one of my villager is trading me ender pearls. I already have like three that I got by killing the occasional enderman that popped up here and there. But yeah, being able to trade ender pearl, game changer. So what I've done is make a hole here. I'm gonna be building out my ender portal over here. I'm gonna be degrading this room just a tiny bit, you know, make it a little more pleasing to the eye. So yeah, let's get to that. Well, the replay mod course has struck again, so no time lapse. Again, at this point I'm just gonna give up to the fact I'm cursed. But yeah, I decided to make this room for this portal somewhat with a cavey feel. <clears throat> I guess now there is no more just procrastinating. It's time to face the nether. I am... I have the basics, I have all I need. Oh wait, actually no, I do not have all I need. There is one very important thing that I must do. Here we go. Oh lordy! Oh, hello. Let's immediately make this a little bit more safe because yikes, this was a <laughs> really, really bad spawn. Oh, uh, I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Oh boy. <laughs> oh lord. Oh lordy. <laughs> I don't like this. I cannot even explain how tense I am right now. I am sitting in my chair like as rigid as a plank of wood. God, this was the worst pawn ever. Oh, oh. oh I found it. Oh, <laughs> that would be 
just like that be oh god <laughs> that would be a little difficult to reach without getting shot which was already happening oh lordy okay okay <laughs> i don't like this i hate this so much <laughs> Oh lordy, there is a place right there! It's coming for me! <laughs> I don't like this! Uh. Uh, I got the achievement, so oh, nice! I'm so very happy, sarcasm, sarcasm. So nervous. Man, why are you in the way? There are so many! Stop getting in my way! Y'all! Okay, let me close this off before I stop taking a swan dive into the lava. No thanks. Okay. We have a way up. Oh god. Jesus Christ, what is this? A party? <laughs> Help! Uh, I would love to try and use the bow, but this big man in the way. If I hit even just one of them, I am done. I am very much toast. I hit one, I hit one. Oh, I knew it. I need to get out. <laughs> I fucking big man in the way when I'm trying to shoot. Leave me alone. Is this pawn rate normal? Lord, it has been a while since I last played this game, but so much things are spawning. So many. Y'all to chill, man. And they're shooting from all the way over there. Oh no, I shot a pig, man. Again. Again. <laughs> they're mad. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> Seriously. These fuckers. They need to stop spawning in. Get out of my way. Ugh. It's your own fault, to be honest. Y'all should stop just walking into my arrows. Are you mad? Look at all this stuff that's spawning in here. What the heck? Why is there so much stuff? What even? <laughs> what is going on in this stronghold? This is insane. This is insane. Absolute insanity. Jesus Christ. Oh ho. Okay, they're fighting beneath themselves. That, like, absolutely suits me just fine. Yeah, y'all. Y'all do that. Ah! <laughs> what the heck is this? Look at this! This is madness! Stop it! I cannot take five steps without getting my... Shit kicked in. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a... Okay. Wait. Fuck. Torches. Torches. Where are my torches? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Gee, no wonder they were spawning so much. The spawner right there. Stop! Mm. 
Where did you come from? Stop! Oh my lord! Stop it! Give me a sec to catch my breath. Oh my god. Holy insane. Oh Jesus Christ. Not the Enderman as well. That gave me a heart attack. No more. Stop spawning. I need to find me some Nether world. But this place is a mess and these guys are here spawning even though I turn to the spawn! I say stop spawning! They're still spawning with, with the torches! This is a nightmare, you all suck! Stop! Stop it! Stop shooting at me! For goodness sake! There are too many. Okay, it run and it run and it run. There is too many. There is too many. There are so goddamn many guys trying to kill me. You need to stop! <laughs> oh my god! I'm losing my marbles! They don't stop, they just keep coming! I'm trying to walk here! They don't stop! <laughs> Please! I just need to keep running until I, found, I find what I need. Which is probably not gonna be here. Oh god. There is too much. No! Stop! Please! Ah! What the hell? I want to go home. Leave me alone. Please. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> uh. Fuck off! Oh my god, it's. Are you shitting me? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Uh. I hate the nether so much. All my stuff, all my stuff, got me all my stuff, got me all my stuff already! Okay. Okay, I need... I just need a sec. Putting all my stuff back. Food, where's food? Oh, good lord in heaven. I just need to look at, look at this. Is this normal? No, it's not. It is so very much not normal. How the heck am I supposed to deal with this? Fuck off! God. I just need some better ones. There is two. Stop. There is so many of you. Stop! This leads into nothing. I came here for fucking nothing. I don't want to hug you. Ah! I hate you so much! The nether needs to die. Oh, lovely. There's a party over here. There's a party right where I need to go. Oh, fun. I need 
through. Let me fucking. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm so. so fucked. I don't even know why I'm trying when I am at half health. And I know I'm gonna be finding an absolute party of pain and hell over here. Yeah. Oh. I should just kiss that stuff goodbye. I was too far away. I, I need a pause before I even try to do that again. <laughs> it is the day after the absolute disaster that was that, you know, exploring of the stronghold. And since I started, uh, like, adding the, the entire nether section to the video yesterday, I had, you know, time to actually look at the footage without having to constantly worry about getting flaming balls hurled at me from all sides constantly. And I realized that I pretty much explored all of the stronghold. So I decided to take a peek with the replay mod recording that I had saved of my trip in the nether. And found out there is no gosh darn room with nether wart and sound sand anywhere at all. So that was a waste of my good armor that I spent quite a lot of time and levels enchanting. How oh, lovely. So the next step is to find another stronghold, because I have to. I need nether wart, I need soul sand. I don't have a choice. <sighs> Let's get to that. Many unbearable hours later. The content of the chest was the result of four or five hours of absolutely miserable bridging all over giant pools of lava in search of another, like, bastion, stronghold, whatever you want to call it. I'm not gonna bother show you to show you that because it's just, like, not interesting. Nothing happened. It was literally me just bridging, occasionally running from the stray ghast. Not interesting at all, but when I, I just... Oh, it was so ridiculously far, but finally found a bastion, just launched myself in, grabbed the nether wart and soul sand and launched myself out. So, now we have that. I have a bunch of cores. Next time I will start automating some farms. For now this is it, because it took me a bloody week to finish this episode. My lord, that was so much work for so little payoff. <laughs> So yeah, this is it. Goodbye, I'm tired. <laughs>